Well friends, May is bike month and to celebrate that event, we're going to build a cargo bike. This is a frame that I built years ago. Let's see if we can get the thing put together. Let's start by seeing what parts we have. Here's a Hammerschmidt dual range transmission crank or I've got a triple biopaste chain ring. Not sure which of those we're going to use. There's a kickstand I picked up. This is the fork I had originally intended to use on it. This is the steer tube I made for it. A handlebar with some shifters. Nice bottle cage. There's a nice V-brake we'll use on the back. So I think we'll start by wire wheeling all this rust off and give this a fresh coat of primer. Okay, so I put a new coat of primer on it and I am suddenly concerned because the geometry does not look right to me. So let's get some wheels on it and see how the frame sits. Okay, taking a look at this, the proportions are way off. In fact, the only thing that is right is the head tube angle and the seat angle. So now I need to figure out what the new frame configuration is going to be. And for starters, I think what I'm going to do is just chop off what I don't want from the old frame. Okay, so I chopped the frame up a little bit and now I'm going to I'm going to reorganize it. One of the things that I'm going to do is when the bike when this angle is right, this top tube is level with the ground. So I'm going to rework this so this bar is parallel to this bar. Okay, for reasons I won't go into, I decided to scrap the other the other front end completely and just build a brand new one. So I've cut my new tube. This is more than long enough. I've contoured it to to uh, fit this uh, bottom bracket. Now we need to cut a tube for the uh, for the new steer tube. Now I didn't have the right size tubing for the bearing cups for the steerer tube. So what I did was I took a head tube, cut it in half, and then welded it on to the end of an extension tube. This is going to be my primary head tube where the steerer tube goes through. This is looking pretty good. I've got my pilot area here. This is going to be my steer tube, and there's going to be a connecting rod out to the front wheel. Now I need to figure out how long I want the cargo bay. I think about 28 inches is where I'll cut this tube and then make the upsweeping tubes to attach to the front fork. Okay, so I've got this half inch by one inch uh, rectangle tubing and that's what I'm going to use to build the interface to the front fork. And you can see here I've drawn some V-notches in there. I'm going to cut those out and that's how I'm going to bend this. Okay, now I've got my V-notches in. We'll just clamp this to the table and bend it on down. That looks like a pretty good angle. I really should have transferred those V-notch marks to another piece of tubing though. Oh well. I did some measurements. I know that I want the bottom of the fork head tube 10 inches above the uh, main beam. And that is right there. But just to make absolutely certain, we'll hold the wheel up just to, just to make sure. Okay, now I'm going to contour these off to, ma to mate to the head tube. Now you see I've cut a V-notch there also and what I'm going to do is just smash that in. Because the way I'm going to attach to this main rail is just weld it right alongside there. And see I want to get a nice, uh, a nice pretty interface going on there. And then we'll come in here and weld this up just like this. And that's not a bad fit. Needs a little improvement but it's not bad. Okay so I've got a lot of stuff cut and fitted together. But I want to get the frame tacked together because there are some pieces that I'm not exactly sure what they need to look like yet. Uh, once I get the frame together, I'll be able to get a better handle on that. Okay, so far this is looking pretty good. Uh, the, by some stroke of luck, the wheel does not hit the frame. Now what we need to do is come in here with some sort of top frame to define the cargo space and tie these two head tubes together. 
Now the next thing I want to do is I want to curve these uh, and I want them both the same. Okay, so I want a nice gradual radius around this. So what I've done here is I've taken a three inch uh, circular block and clamped it to the table and I'm just going to heat up a long area here with the rosebud and we'll let the weight of the tubing bend itself until it's hanging straight down. Now that turned out pretty good, so I'm going to do the same thing for the front. Only to give the illusion of, of it being aerodynamic, I'm only going to go at a 45 degree angle in the front. So this is looking pretty good. I still need to figure out a floor for the cargo area and a steering linkage. Uh, but those, those are pretty easy tasks. Anyway, the thing's going to be kind of heavy. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up putting an electric motor on this or not. We'll cross that bridge after the maiden voyage on it. So I think that's all for this week. I'd like to encourage you to join the May is Bike Month effort in your area. Uh, one thing that it does here where I live in Sacramento, California, is that they have spent millions of dollars on bicycle infrastructure. We have beautiful bike paths, and they've made separated bike lanes where there's a physical barrier between the bike lane and the traffic. And by participating in the May is Bike Month effort in your area, it'll send a message to your legislators that bicycling is important to you. Next week, we're going to have a couple of product reviews. I've got a battery pack that was sent to me and uh, some shop lighting that was also sent to me that I'd like to show you guys. Uh, there will be some discounts associated with those product reviews. The week after that, we'll be back and I should be done with this cargo bike by then. But if you're impatient and don't want to wait for the follow-up video, follow me on Instagram. My name there is wildman.tech, and I post things as I'm doing them there, so you can be completely up to date. Anyway, that's all for this time. Thanks for stopping in. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like, and have a good one.